Welcome to my office. That was my intro two videos ago. Then I built a guitar stand and wrapped the video up with this. I want 3D printers in the office. It just makes more sense than the dusty shop, but they're just loud enough to irritate my wife when they're running. So what I'm gonna do is build a cabinet underneath this FlexiSpot. FlexiSpot sent me another uh, standing desk. They just came out with this four motor. It's even beefier than the one I use on my outfeed table. So they wanted me to do another video and it's perfect for this um, because on, so underneath this will be the 3D printers. They'll be hidden when they're running and that should muffle the sound and they're not visibly on display for the office. Then you just raise it up and get them printing and send them back down. Uh, and then on the top is going to be all of this stuff bookshelves um, up top. So that's coming next. And if you want to be notified when that video posts, uh, I guess hit the, hit, the, uh, hit the bell icon. Bell me, bro. Catch you next time. And I'm sure that enthusiastic endorsement of the bell icon worked and you were notified to watch this video where I start to build that 3D printer cabinet. Here is what I'm going for. It's pretty self-explanatory. I do think that I'm going to leave the bottom back of the cabinet open so it won't trap heat and just put some sound absorbing panels on the hidden part of the wall behind the cabinet so the printer sound can't reflect and make it into the house. Also worth passing along. Apparently there are silent stepper motors that you can swap out on these printers. People were telling me about these when I posted the concept on the Tixtagram. I like the idea of having the printers a bit hidden and putting the bookshelf on top of the standing desk platform means that I can use the vertical space better. So the silent stepper motor option doesn't change my plans for this build, but it's good to know that they're an option if I need to get just a bit more sound reduction in the future. Comments welcome if you have wisdom in the ways of silent stepper motors. I worked with FlexiSpot previously on their two motor E7 standing desk frame to make my table saw outfeed table. At that time, it was their top of the line frame and I was really impressed with its stability and ability to lift me and a maple top with ease. But the E7Q frame has four motors. This is the one I'm using for the 3D printer cabinet. That's really impressive, four motors, four linear drive screws. Uh, so I have no concern at all with my design that requires it to lift an off-center loaded up bookshelf and walnut top. A wobbly desk is really annoying, but in the standing position, wobbles are harder to avoid because of the high center of gravity. Four legs at the desk corner, each with a motor and, and this drive system, are a very robust way to counteract that and will always be superior to two leg standing desks. So if that sounds good to you and you want to check out that or any other FlexiSpot standing desks that are covered by 30 day return policy and 15 year warranty. They are offering my audience an exclusive discount that you can check out in the description. It's obviously designed to be a desk, of course, but the E7Q frame would make a really great base for an adjustable height workbench or assembly table. And if you have any other thoughts on workshop uses, I'd be interested to hear them. Okay, let's get back to the build. In order to fit the printers into the space I have available for them, I need to turn them sideways, requiring pull-out bases for access and the filament rolls need to be stored and dispensed from behind the printers instead of on top of them. So that's what I'm building now.
Lincoln, we're rolling. What are you going to do here? Um, I'm going to spray and paint this whole metal block. Awesome. And that's this. And hold on. Hold on. Lincoln is saying something to me. He's saying, like and subscribe. Please. Nice. Okay, now let's just get this going. Got to move it real quick. Oh, look at that. Okay, guys. Um, because my dad is here. Hey, can you like and subscribe to Wit and Games, please? Because that's my YouTube channel. I guess Lincoln took the opportunity to plug his YouTube channel. I gotta respect the hustle. So, if you want to see my son and my dad play Fortnite together on his channel, click the link in the top right. So that piece of channel that he was spray painting has been sitting around the shop and I finally had a good use for it underneath the shelf that is going to hold the printers and is holding one of the printers uh, to keep it from sagging. It's uh, low profile, but really strong, so it's perfect reason to use up something that's been sitting around a while. I've got one of the printers done, the other two will be to the right. So when you want to set them up, just pull them out, access the print, get it started, whatever. And this is the dispenser for filament in the back. I'll make two more of those. I'm actually waiting on some bearings from McMaster car to get that all finished up. So I think this is gonna work great. Thank you FlexiSpot for hooking me up with the desk and I'll catch you guys next time.